What's up guys and gals? It is I, once again, Yusuf El Sened, and welcome guys and gals to another episode of the Movie Monday series created by Emily Boone. Please do check her channel out. She's a really awesome YouTuber and one yours truly is very proud to call his friend, his dear beloved friend. The link for her channel will be down below in the description box. But for this edition of the Movie Monday series which is very special considering that Halloween this year's Halloween draws near yours truly will be sharing with you guys and gals my top 10 favorite horror films of all time which will include some honorable mentions honorable mentions which yours truly loves equally as much as the 10 films 10 horror films in my top 10 favorite horror films of all time list and this is a list I've been so eager to share with you guys and gals for a very long time and now that time has come and just like the previous episode of the movie Monday series yours truly will be ranking these movies based on a ranking system from number 10 to number 1 and here's how the list goes beginning with my personal favorite favorite honorable mentions and they are Xavier Jens Frontier, Eduardo Sanchez and Daniel Myricks, The Blair Witch Project, John Carpenter's Halloween, the classic Halloween film and Fuck Rob Zombie's remake of Halloween, John Carpenter's true classic Halloween, Kinto Shindo's Onibaba, Richard Donner's The Omen, George A. Romero's Night of the Living, Dead. And finally, we have Dario Argento's Inferno. And that's the end of my personal favorite honorable mentions and let's begin my top 10 favorite horror films of all time, shall we? At number 10 we have Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. The Shining, guys and girls, is without question a true horror classic and a movie which indeed had disturbed yours truly both on a psychological and emotional level just like a lot of the horror movies on this list had, but this movie in particular, Shelley Duvall, her reactions and the range of emotions including despair, sadness and fear, all of it yours truly, like many people had felt, especially in the presence of Jack Torrance, a sadistic and psychotic motherfucker, but this character is also a tragic figure, just like Shelley Duvall's character character Wendy and their son Danny. This movie is both intense and surreal as hell. It is guys and gals and that's why Stanley Kubrick's The Shining ranks at number 10. At number 9 we have John Carpenter's The Thing and this movie The Thing which itself is a remake of the classic 1950s horror film. A supernatural and sci-fi horror film but this movie is so superior in many ways and John Carpenter does make reference to the original and classic Thing movie in Halloween, his classic Halloween film and that is so cool but this movie is so intense as hell and so fucked up especially in the practical effects of the Thing itself and this creature has no well known feature and takes the form of many beings and this creature, this monster, this thing causes mayhem and carnage for many men in the Antarctica. This thing cannot be killed so easily and fear and struggle is what these men endure in the Antarctica and that is indeed quite fun to watch and that's why John Carpenter's The Thing ranks at number 9. At number 8 we have Kobayashi Misaki's Kaiden and Kaiden is a 19th 
1960s Japanese horror classic just like Kinto Shindo's Onibaba and both movies were so good but yours truly personally prefers this movie because Kaiden is four stories Kaiden is an anthology film and as an anthology film this movie has four stories or tales told in Kaiden Kobayashi Misaki's Kaiden and my personal favorite of them all is Hoichi the Earless and that story that tale broke my heart but also inspired yours truly so much this movie is not just a horror film a Japanese horror film but this movie has so much heart and so much soul that is why yours truly loves this movie and why Kobayashi Masaki's Kaiden ranks at number 8 at number 7 we have Stuart Rosenberg's 1978 horror classic The Emptyville Horror and this movie is indeed a classic horror film slash haunted mansion film and yours truly loves it so much and the remake of The Emptyville Horror fuck that movie guys and gals but this movie is indeed a classic which has two great performances by James Brolin and Margot Kidder as their respective characters George and Kathy Lutz a couple a married couple and their children are okay and not annoying as hell but the little girl fuck her guys and gals I'm sorry she's cute and adorable but fuck her character fuck her to hell and this movie despite that little girl is a true horror classic which yours truly loves so much that's why this movie ranks at number seven at number six we have Dario Argento's Suspiria Suspiria what the hell can I say about it guys and gals this movie I love it to death I do guys and gals and Olga one of the ladies in the movie a dancer in the Academy Dance Academy is played so damn well by Barbara Magnolfi her role despite being so small Barbara Magnolfi does a great job playing her character and yours truly had the honor of talking with her on Facebook and that is so awesome and so fucking cool it was guys and gals I love her to death but this movie as a whole was so great as much as I love Barbara Magnolfi as Olga and I do love her Jessica Harper is the main lead of this movie her character being Susie Banyan and what she goes through in this dance academy is fucked up and so surreal as hell but my god she is so great in her role and this movie is so intense and the cinematography is so gorgeous and that's why this movie ranks at number six at number five we have Julian Murray and Alexander Bustillo's 2007 released horror film a French horror film Alentirior which also means in English translation inside and this movie wow fucking wow guys and girls this movie I mean there's no words for it none this movie is so surreal almost like a fever dream which was indeed surreal and intense as hell and this movie has two great performances by actresses Patrice Stahl as the lady or la femme and Alison Parody as Sarah or Sarah these two actresses and the whole movie was so great and so awesome so intense dark and grim as fuck but this movie as dark and grim and bloody as hell as it must be for some for yours truly it was more depressing as fuck but despite all that this movie has so much heart and so much beauty despite all the blood and gore in this movie adds to its beauty the beauty of an interior and that is so awesome and why I love it so much and that's exactly why an interior ranks at number five at number four we have Werner Herzog's Nosferatu the vampire Nosferatu the vampire is undoubtedly one of my all-time favorite horror films and absolute favorite movies in general it is guys and gals for many reasons including the performances 
pieces by Klaus Kinski, Isabella Gianni, and Bruno Ganz, all of who were so great among the cast of actors and actresses, all of who were so great, and this movie is so well directed and written by Werner Herzog, and this movie is so beautiful and has so much heart and so much soul. This movie is both a tragedy and a love story, a tragic love story, which yours truly loves so much. I do, guys and girls, and that's why Werner Herzog's Nosferatu, The Vampire, ranks at number four. At number three, we have Ridley Scott's Alien. Alien is a movie I've spoken about many times before, but this movie is one of the scariest and most intense horror films I've seen ever, and this movie is also one of my favorite horror films and movies in general of all time, because this movie, everything about it is so great and so masterful, and the performances by every actor besides Sigourney Weaver are so great, especially Ian Holm and John Hurt as their respective characters, Ash and Kane, and Kane has one of the most gruesome and shocking deaths in horror films and in movie history, and that is made evident by Veronica Cartwright's reaction, which is so authentic and so on point it was, guys and girls, and the xenomorph itself, the alien, was so well designed and so well realized, and that's why Ridley Scott's Alien ranks at number three. At number two, we have Tobe Hooper's The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and this movie, wow, guys and gals, wow. Talk about a horror classic and a slasher classic. This movie, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, is both all into one. Both movies combined into one tale, a horrifying, tragic, unnerving, and cerebral tale. This movie gets into your mind and breaks it down just like the main lead, the main lady, she loses her mind and goes bad shit crazy by the end despite the fact that she had escaped from the nightmare she and her friends, her beloved friends, had faced unfortunately and that is the true horror of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Leatherface, what can I say about him? Leatherface is a true icon in the slasher genre and that's why Tobe Hooper's The Texas Chainsaw Massacre ranks at number two. And finally, guys and gals, at number one we have William Friedkin's The Exorcist, a true horror classic, a classic among classic horror films, and without question, one of my all-time favorite horror movies, and one of my absolute favorite movies in general. This movie, it is so damn great, both as a drama and horror film, a drama about good versus evil, faith versus doubt in one's faith, God versus Satan, and of course a horror movie which is so great and so intense and scary. There is so much good things about it from the writing, direction, acting by the actors and actresses. All of them were so great and the most underrated of them all is Kitty Wynn. Kitty Wynn I love so much and it's so sad she never became a huge star in Hollywood, but oh well, I love her and I love this movie for many other reasons. Those reasons are made evident in this movie when you see it for yourselves and I do recommend you guys and gals watch William Friedkin's The Exorcist and the other movies on my top 10 favorite horror films of all time. Please do guys and gals. Thank you guys and gals for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe if you wish, and do check out Emily Boone's channel, and do check out the previous episode of the Movie Monday series, and thank you guys and gals once again for watching. Until next time, peace out, take care, adios amigos, au revoir, and sayonara.